Well, hey everybody, welcome back. This is Stephen with Four Oaks Crafts. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make deer antler earrings. I made uh, uh, several of these back at Christmas time uh, to give away to my wife and daughter, and these were really a big hit. And we got Valentine's Day coming up, so I thought I would make a few more and make a video to show you how I made it. So join with me and let's get started. So basically what I'm going to do is show you how to make two kinds of earrings in this video. Now let me preface this by saying I am not an expert at making jewelry. So in fact, I had to go watch a couple of YouTube videos to learn the basics and I'll place links to those in the description field if you want to take a deeper dive and learn more about it. But I think you'll, you'll get the gist of it in this video. It's pretty easy to master and to do. Okay, in this first segment, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to cut, sand, and drill to get the antler ready for attaching the earring hardware. Now, I like to use a bandsaw to cut my antlers, and I'm cutting them, you know, basically cross sections out of the antler is what you see here. Um, you could use a hacksaw, though, if you don't have a, a bandsaw. Uh, where you make the cut in the antler is what's going to determine the shape of the antler. So you see basically a really round antler. You're going to get a round earring uh, with other shapes, different parts of the antler. You're going to get an oval or maybe like a teardrop, you know, shape. And then if you want to do something a little more fancy like I've done here, now these two right here are from a bigger set of ant uh, shed antlers from elk. Uh, so this is elk antler and what I've done is hollowed out the middle, which I'm going to show you how I did that. And then you can hang different uh, things, beads or decoration pieces in the middle. For some reason, I think turquoise, the color turquoise and white, uh, really go well, really look well with deer antler. All right, let me just say one of the, the challenges with uh, working on the, this antler, the, the really small pieces of antler, is you wanna, you wanna take them and sand the, uh, the bandsaw marks or your hacksaw marks out. And so I normally take these to my disc sander, but the pieces are so small, you know, it's, it's really hard to hold them uh, with your fingers because you're putting that up to the disc sander, they get really hot and your fingertips are getting really close to the uh, sanding pad. So I came up with this little jig, it's basically two-sided tape up here on the top of a little small block of wood. And I just stick the deer antler up there and then just move it back and forth along the disc sander. So that worked very well. And I'll be showing you uh, how to do, I'll be showing you some of this in the video. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started.
Okay guys, now that I've got the antlers ready uh, in this next segment, I'm gonna be showing you how to assemble the earrings and attach the hardware. Now to do this assembly part, you simply need uh, needle nose pliers and uh, some, some cutting uh, pliers, small cutting pliers. You can get these two just about anywhere, your hardware store or wherever. And then you also need uh, some round nose pliers and you can get these at the uh, your local craft store. Okay, and for the earring hardware, uh, you can get that at your local craft stores like Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Uh, basically, you need these items. Uh, you need the uh, 10 millimeter uh, jump ring. You'll need the two inch uh, head pin. Uh, you'll need the uh, fish hook earrings and and whatever decorations you want, the beads or whatever that you want to uh, add to your uh, earring. And all of the metal uh, hardware is nickel-free hardware. guys well there's so many design possibilities uh you know with making these earrings i think you're only limited really by your imagination uh i hope you'll take a minute check out my other antler craft tutorials you should be seeing a playlist come up pop up here in a minute in the comments field uh please share uh, any tips or ideas you have uh with working with deer antler 
uh, let me know about other antler crafts you'd like me to try in the future. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.